How are you guys doing? Today is Wednesday, July 28th, 2021. I'm James Sims, and for this episode of The Elite, I'm going to do an elite individual profile on Walker Bueller. The elite starting pitcher for the Los Angeles Dodgers turns 27 today, and with this episode, I plan on pointing out his accomplishments uh, and his accolades, especially what he's been able to achieve from the moment that he made it up to the majors to where he is right now. One of the aces for one of the most formidable teams in baseball with a very solid chance of repeating their championship title hopes. For just to give a little bit of background, if you're not familiar with Walker Bueller, the best way I would describe his pitching style is just fearless. He throws the ball incredibly hard to the point where I don't, I, I, I really hope that he's taking very good care of his shoulder. But regardless, it's very tough to hit off of him. He, will, he carries that swagger about him. And no, he, he walks with the air that he knows that people aren't going to hit off of him, which actually kind of makes for good baseball. Um, so if it's a, just to give a little bit of background, he's originally out of Kentucky. Uh, he would out of Louisville specifically, he would get taken in the 14th round out of high school, but instead he decided to com- to commit to Vanderbilt, which is a baseball powerhouse in Nashville, Tennessee, I want to say. And following his stint at Vanderbilt, he would establish himself as a good enough prospect to be taken with the 24th overall selection of the 2015 MLB draft by the Los Angeles Dodgers. It took him a couple seasons to get officially promoted. His rookie season would come in 2017, his age 22 season. In his in 2017, he would only make eight appearances as a relief pitcher. He pitched nine innings with a 7.71 ERA at a 1-0 record. In the nine innings he pitched, he allowed 11 hits, eight runs, and he struck out 12. He at least had more strikeouts than innings pitched, but that would not go down as his That would not go down as his official uh, rookie season. But just to give a little bit of context, in 2017, that was when the Dodgers went all the way to the World Series and lost to the Astros after winning the National League West for the fifth straight season. Walker Buehler's rookie season will come in 2018 in his age 23 season. He will go on to start 23 of the 24 games he played for the LA Dodgers in a season where they would go on to win the National League West for the sixth year in a row. Um, this would be, this is the year after Cody Bellinger won the MVP or won the MVP. Yeah, he, this is the year after he won the rookie of the year in this season in the 24 games he played, he would pitch 137 innings. He would post an eight and five record with a 262 ERA. The first time in his career, he's ever posted an ERA under three and the 137 innings he pitched, he allowed 95 hits. So he had less hits than innings pitch and he struck out 151 batters. At the conclusion of the season, he would finish third in Rookie of the Year voting. This would be the year where Ronald Acuna Jr. for the Atlanta Braves would take home the trophy and Juan Soto right after him. Once the Dodgers made the playoffs, they would end up beating the Braves 3-1 to in the first round. But also, this would be the series where Walker Buehler gave up the Grand Slam to Ronald Acuna Jr. in the first game. Or the, the first game in Atlanta, Game 3. They would go on to beat the Brewers in the National League Championship Series in seven, and then they would end up going to they would end up losing to the Red Sox in five in the World Series that season. But of course, many people many people were starting to gain a sense of the type of player that Walker Buehler was. In his second full season as a starter for the Los Angeles Dodgers in 2019. He would go on to start all 30 of the games that he would play in a season where the Dodgers would win the National League West again. But this time they would win with 106 games, which is the most wins that they put up, at least in recent memory since he's gotten there. So, of course, that was a that was very big for them. They actually have that's the most wins I believe they've ever put together in franchise history. But of course, um, I that's I, I digress. In the 2019 season, Walker Buehler was named an All-Star for the first time as he finished with a 14-4 record alongside a 3.26 ERA. He led the National League with two complete games thrown. He would pitch 182 innings, which up until now is the most innings he's ever pitched in a season by about 50 innings. He allowed 153 hits in those 182 innings, which is 29 less hits than innings pitched. And he struck out 215 batters, which is 29 or not, not 29, 27 more, sorry, 33. I'm doing my math wrong. 33 more strikeouts than innings pitched in that regard. 
So of course he was doing that. And like I said, for the very first time, he was named an all-star as he finished ninth in a Cy Young voting race that ended up seeing Jacob deGrom take home, uh, take home the trophy. At the conclusion of the season, they would end up losing in the first round to the eventual World Series champs, Washington Nationals, which would continue a four-year streak of the Dodgers losing to the team that would eventually lose, that would eventually win the World Series. Uh, but continuing on, following that season, the Dodgers would bounce back in 2020. This would be a season that many people remember as a season that was shortened due to COVID. Instead of playing 162 games, the season, the start of the season had to get delayed by a couple months. Every team had to play 60 games within their own division. And the, they actually extended the playoffs from four teams in each league to eight, which added an extra round of the playoffs. So I give, I give that background, that context before I get into the season. In 2020, in his age 25 season, Walker Buehler would start eight games for an L.A. Dodgers team that would finish with the best record in baseball. Uh, they finished with a 43-17 and 17 record in those 60 games. Um, and in that season itself, Bueller would finish with a 1-0 record alongside a 3.44 ERA. In the 36 innings that he pitched, he allowed 24 hits and struck out 42. Um, wasn't pitching as many innings for those games as he was kind of coming back from... He was dealing with injury for a little bit of the season, but he was able to show up for the World Series. Um, and once they made it to the playoffs, they would end up beating the Brewers. They swept the, they swept the Brewers two to nothing in the first round. They swept the Padres three to nothing in the NLDS in three. They beat the Braves in the championship series in seven. And then they would end up beating the Tampa Bay Rays in six to win the Dodgers first world series as a franchise since 1988. So of course that was, that, that was very big for them. And Walker Buehler was one of the reasons how that they were able to do so. And the third game of the 2020 World Series, he would pick up 10 strikeouts in six innings as he allowed only one earned run. Uh, he was the third youngest pitcher with 10 or more strikeouts and three fewer hits allowed in a World Series game. Uh, the most recent person to do was Josh Beckett in 2003. And just to give a sense... How that's that was the most recent World Series title. So as of right now, the Dodgers are the World Series reigning champs. So Walker Buehler does, of course, have the crown right above his name to show that you know, just to give him a little bit of credit for what he was able to do to help his team win a championship. So following his first championship run, he would come back to where he is right now in the midst of his age 26, now age 27 season. Uh, right now this season, he is, he started 21 game. He started all 21 games that he's played so far for a Dodgers team that is currently sitting second in the national league West with the possible, with, with the second best record in the entire national league behind the San Francisco Giants. So this team looks like it may be a lock to make it right back into the playoffs again. And Walker Buehler has been their ace this season. He has an 11-1 record alongside a 2.19 ERA. At the moment, he has the best win-loss percentage in the, in the National League as he is, he's won 92% of his games so far. I guess 11 of 12. That's how that fraction works out. Thus far, he's pitched the most innings in the league as he's pitched 135 innings, which is just as many innings as he's pitched in his rookie season. And he's, more, he's a little more than halfway through the season. In those 135 innings pitched, he's allowed 91 hits, which is 44 less hits than innings pitched. He struck out 139 batters, which is four more strikeouts than complete innings pitched. And for the second time in his career, and the fourth time since he's been the since he's been named an All Star, he's been named a starter for the Dodgers. He's been named an All Star. So of course, being named an All Star more than once shows that when he won it the first time, it was definitely not a fluke. And it just shows where we are right now as he is in the midst of, de of what looks like his best pitching season to date. Um, and I just can't wait to see what comes of him because already at the age of 27, he has a championship and it looks as though he has much more to prove. With that said, I want to thank Wikipedia. I want to thank the Baseball Sports Reference, the MLB websites for giving me the facts and figures that I need in order to do this episode. Um, I want to, of course, thank, I want to wish Walker Bueller a happy 27th birthday. If you ever get a chance to watch him. He wears number 21 for the Dodgers and the way pitching works, he's going to pitch, he's going to start every fifth game 
depending on how the Dodgers rotation shuffles him in, but they definitely do need him for all the games that he plays. So you can see how important he is there. And last but not least, I want to thank everyone for listening to all 10 minutes of this piece. I hope all is well. Once again, today is Wednesday, July 28th, 2021. Um, and once again, I hopefully by this time next year, by Walker Bueller's age 28 birthday, we'll have more to talk about in terms of that. But with that said, last but not least, thanks for listening to my piece. I hope all is well and peace out. I'll catch you tomorrow with another episode of The Elite.